of what happens on a game day? Is it singing Carmen, Ohio? Is there some, what, what stands out to you the most? Um, for me, it's there's two: walking into the school session, yeah, and yeah, that's a good that one. team walk and everything, but also singing Carmen, Ohio after a good Buckeye it's victory. A pretty good deal, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, cool. Audrey has a story here about. One of the great traditions, I think, and every fan can hear this, right? <laughs> it, it, it reverberates throughout Ohio Stadium, Audrey. Exactly, Jared. When Ohio State's on the verge of a win at home in the shoe, you may have heard when they say, sound the victory bell, but have you actually ever thought who is ringing the bell? Well, NBC4 got a unique behind-the-scenes look at the victory bell tradition. To ring the victory bell stands as a Buckeye game day tradition that dates back to the 1950s. Ohio State grants the co-ed service fraternity Alpha Phi Omega the honor of being the only students allowed to ring the bell. I think it's a really big deal that we get to keep this honor. We've had it for a really long time and it's such a special tradition and it's so awesome being able to see everybody's names on the walls upstairs that graduated before us. Everyone gets so excited because we all meet up and we're the only ones that are allowed to do this on campus and it's such a privilege. So we go up there and we take turns and we get, if you're a senior, you get to sign your name on the on the wall and then it's just so incredible to watch everyone sing Carmen, Ohio too from like right outside and it's just an incredible experience. Located inside the southeast tower of the stadium, the bell sits 150 feet above ground and weighs over 2,000 pounds. So the physical act of ringing it stands as no easy Task. If you hold on too tight, you can pretty much fly up with it if you're light enough. That happened to me my first time. There's just a pulley. The first pull is really hard, but once you get it going, it's super, super easy. The chimes of the victory bell can be heard nearly five miles away, so some bell ringers opt to wear ear protection. It's very loud up there. But you get used to it. I mean, it's just like going to a really loud concert. You kind of just get used to the noise, and it's, it's amazing. So many traditions surround game day at Ohio State, and throughout history, very few people have gotten the chance to go up inside the bell tower. I love all the traditions, but Getting to do this, especially since we're the only ones that can, makes us feel pretty special. So the bell rings for 15 minutes after a home win, and then for Michigan? 30 minutes. Full 30 minutes after the Michigan victory at home. I'll tell you this. We, the bell. we had a chance to go up in the, in the bell tower for this story. <laughs> it is a boil, it's a legitimate boiler room. Yes. I was so surprised. I'm yeah. like, wow, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's loud, kind of smelly, <laughs> kind of musty. That's one of, the, we're one of the great traditions that great Ohio State traditions. lives. And not many people get to go in. Yeah. I felt so special. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, time for a timeout right now. Coming up, though, a look around.